What point did you decide to put the team on your back? <laughs> no, it was a group win. effort. I mean, uh, the first half was, I mean, it wasn't great for, I mean, personally me and the whole team. Um, and we knew we needed three points. Uh, we, 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 there's nothing less we, we could have done. Um, so it doesn't matter who scored. It didn't matter who scored the two goals. Just we got three points, and then Ron hopefully carries over into Wednesday. So, I guess what we'll first go through what you're thinking at halftime when you're in the locker room, knowing that you just played 45 minutes that you needed to play well and, mm -hmm. and didn't. Yeah, and it's still nothing on the board. You're still kind of well, in the same situation. I mean, I was pissed, me personally, about my first half performance. I mean, I, I, I felt kind of lost. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but I mean, just. Thanks to the coaching staff for how he's trusting me to play the whole second half and trying to get in my groove. I know uh, the start of the second half was kind of shaky for me as well. I didn't connect my passes and I was kind of frustrated. Uh, but I mean, you got to keep at it. So hopefully, I mean, thankfully, I got picked up a ball, I think, in the center circle. And I mean, I saw the opening and just, I mean, just took it. That wasn't a scoring opportunity. So, like, <laughs> when you get the ball, what, what was going through your mind? I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. You be one defender, two defenders, and you realize you kind of had a lane. I mean, did they kind of piece together that Well, I think uh, the ball popped out, and there's a kid coming from the side, so I tried to cut him off. Um, if he touched me, I would have went down to get the foul, but he didn't touch me, so I went. I kept going through, and then I, I looked up. There's one defender to beat, and uh, he's a bigger guy, so I kind of knew I had the momentum and just put it by him, and hopefully I got I, I uh, had enough speed. I, mean, I don't say that a lot, but yeah. hopefully I had enough speed, and I got to it, and uh, I mean, I just put it in. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I guess uh, you knew what this match meant, but you know you're not done yet. You kind of yeah. have one left mm -hmm. that, I mean, you control your own path at this point. If yeah. you win, you're in. But that's yeah. not going to be easy against no, a team like Georgetown. No. I guess what is it going to take from an offensive standpoint, because you can speak to that more specifically, to kind mm -hmm. of at least play well, play better than you did tonight? I mean, we just got to taste true to ourselves, to play to our strength. I mean, obviously they're a good team. They, they're they're second the table, and that's that says something. I think they're second. Right? They're third now. Oh really? Okay. St. John's beat them tonight. Wow. Um, but yeah, I mean they're they're up there, so yeah. uh, they're good. They they've had some impressive wins. It's gonna take a full team performance, and we just gotta I mean just play our game, say to ourselves, and hopefully we can get in, and get a win, and off to the biggest tournament we go. I don't get mad. I won't say anything. <laughs> I won't. I won't. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Uh, obviously you guys knew there was a lot on the line tonight. Um, but for you, for a guy like you, being that it's possibly your last time to be on this field, there's a lot of emotions running through that. How did you guys kind of put all those aside for a minute, for 40 or 90 minutes, and get it done? Well, I mean, I think every time you step on this field and you see the support that we have from the community, I mean, every game really is emotional because you know it's, you know it's going to end at some point. And you, you never really think it's going to end, but then that day comes, and maybe that day came today for me and for the four other seniors. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we knew we had to get a result tonight. We've kind of put ourselves in a very difficult situation, to be quite frank with you. But um, the, the squad's ready for it. We're ready to really try and win out from here because that's really what it's going to take. Um, but we have a special group of guys. We have a special group of seniors that want to kind of lead the way. Um, losing Mitch Legro, yeah. that that's yeah. that's huge. Um, but. I mean, you uh, you know, you've been here long enough and people have watched long enough that anything can happen. And during the course of a short season and the games being so compact, stuff like that happens. So you really, really need the entire squad. So What made, to, what made tonight's matchup with, with the Paul so difficult? I, I think we made it difficult on ourselves. Um, we really, I felt we really didn't figure out what to do defensively. I thought we kind of got caught in the middle, whether we go and we go press high or do we stay and drop back. And I think that coming up against Georgetown, that's going to have to be a lot better because they're also a good side. Um, they've already made the Big East tournament, so they've already got their, they punched their ticket. So we, we have to be really spot on. And these next couple days in training, we really need to be spot on and everybody needs to be focused and bought in. There's not much time to kind of get yourself ready. You're going to have a training session, a travel day, get out there and play. You're right, one of the best teams in the country. Yeah, I guess. What do you need? What do you want to see out of these? The short time you do have, but the time you do have, especially with that back line without Mitch, to kind of, you know, get things in well, somewhat order before you get to on the field. Well, thankfully, we have a group of smart soccer players, and we've got a, and we've got a group of smart people. So, I think if we can apply our our focus into the game plan a little bit more, then I think 
it can be it can be good. I mean, quite frankly, I think we should have beaten Butler at the beginning of the year. We yeah. kind of gave away that game. Um, I think I mean we haven't played Georgetown yet, but there isn't one team that I've said, God, I wouldn't want to play them in the tournament, or I wouldn't want to see them again. Mm -hmm. So I think I I think the the Big East this year is very very tight. Um, maybe the points don't add up, but I feel like everybody's beating everybody in some sort of um, some way, shape, or form. So I think we just got we just got to win, man. Yeah. We just got to get three points. Yeah. Well, uh, that was more difficult than uh, I thought it would be and, and for the most part we made it very difficult on ourselves we, in the first half we played a lot of long balls and they are very tall in the back they have a six foot six six foot four kind of center back duo and there was no going through with long balls and uh, I uh, had to change it at halftime tell the guys hey we, we got to play on the ground we got to play combinations we got to play a little bit faster and, and attack them in the half positions and we, we try to do more of that in the second half, and I think the shot total tells you. I mean, uh, we, we got a lot more open looks. Um, could have put the game away probably a little bit earlier with Luke Harkinson having a breakaway and um, Pollard missing that shot. Uh, so all in all, you know, it was a working win, but at this point, nothing comes easy. Everybody's fighting for their life. Um, you know, they still had a, a slim chance. Um, we had to do something, and there's a lot of pressure on these guys. How much pressure was on your your senior star players, specifically Frankie, Lucas, Kluver, Ricky? And well, the guys, you know, because they knew how important this match was. Well, of course, I think everybody knows how, how important that game is. But when you're looking at that goal that Ricky played, I, I didn't think Ricky had particularly a great game tonight. But that very moment was just pure will to make a difference in the game because he beat three guys. I've never seen him run so determined like that and then finish it off with a determined shot, which not, was not easy to take. And that was just a brilliant play, but that's the, that's the difference. You know, great players, they, they make the difference in moments like that. How, how was it, um, I guess, the process of piecing together the back line without Legro back there, his presence? And I guess, what did you miss, first of all, without him on the field? And how did you keep it together back well, there? Well, uh, Mitch organizes a lot. You know, uh, Bryce is quiet. Um, Bryce can play his part, and he certainly adds something. But Mitch is more like the one who ties everything together. So he's holding guys back. He's telling guys when to step. He's bringing the lineup. Uh, and that has been ingrained so far. So for Bryce, it's still a little bit of a learning curve. Um, both Julius and Bryce are too quiet as center backs. And Mitch was our vocal guy back there, sort of like the leader in the back line. That's what we're missing.